this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> one just about Three. to get underway. Four. Well, for all the places we go in the world, few can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Opened April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever. UFC 200, Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk to that octagon to try to make your mark on the sport. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Man, no feeling out process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it early. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. Frantic pace early on to this one. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Just misses with the jab there. Nice block. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. That is a damaging kick that lands. Inside leg kick. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go. 
Trying to connect now with the overhand left. No good. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, great block there. Beautiful jab lands. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it. But the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to, to deter him from doing this constantly. He has got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. One minute to go in round one. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, that's a nice strike. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Nice kick. You guys are going at it. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh, he lands that teeth. Under 20 seconds now to go. 15 seconds remain in the round. Big right hook there by the champ. Five minutes in the books. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Timely defense there, huge block for him. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Establishing the jab. They're so evenly matched, they're going tit for tat. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes, and at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter, but tonight he has worked the body to great effect, and those are really starting to take their toll. Good jab there by the champion. Fighter blocks a punch. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is always oh, had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh! Oh! oh huge left! Oh, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now, but if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. 
Under three minutes now here in round two. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yep. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Two minutes. Takedown defense is there. Lands to the body there. Oh, nice. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Lock that punch. Big shots being made. What a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. And just misses with that big right hand. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, he's hurt. Big right hand. Nice counter left there. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice low kick. Back and forth we go. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed his... Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, that overhand, big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. 
Eli. Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, spinning heel kick and it lands. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Lee's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, what a job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Man, these guys, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Oh, nice connection by him there, and that shot actually cut him open, champ. He was landing at a rate that was so high that you knew that something had to change or you would start to see the damage. He opens up a cut on his opponent. Oh! 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 Oh, oh he lands a massive kick here. Oh, uppercut. Lands a good series of kicks here. Straight to the body by Lee. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter. You see the type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. One minute now to go in the third. Need some work, guys. Trying to kick the leg out. Lee's eye is closing up. Nice execution on the tee. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Machado. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. 20 seconds left. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, we got a few clips for you, DC, of all the damage doled out in that round and his eye continuing to be the main target. I mean, he's getting hammered. He is getting hit in that spot over and over again. And because of that, his opponent has gained in confidence Ready and he is very limited Ready. in what he can do in his approach because safety has to be first. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to the... Oh, Shot O'Garrett. Man has his chin been tested early. Oh, back and forth we go. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. 
All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy, he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Ian Machado Garrett. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. Oh, the shot the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Lee's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Strike lands clean. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, really good. Oh, he's wobbled now. Oh, big left hook there. Beautiful combination. Lee gets stunned there by that stiff jab. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Machado Garrett. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Lee's really bleeding heavily now. You got to think they might bring in the ringside position to take a look at that cut between rounds. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Lee going for the body. Missed with that kick. Just over two minutes to go. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Push kick there to the body. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where... Oh, funny me! Checks that leg, kid. Hands high, hands high. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Oh, and the high kick lands. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Nice punch lands over the top. Body kick now by Lee. Well, you hear that crowd reaction every time he gets battered to the body. I know how tough he is, but really don't want to take too many more of those. I mean, even us. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh! Oh, big left. Oh! He's hurting him bad, man. That right there. Oh! He's hurt again. Nice leg kick. Tough as it gets, but that eye is downright nasty at this point in time. And you've got to wonder, given all the swelling, if that might even be a fractured orbital. Not good for Lim. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent fight. opened up a nasty right. cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. Nice punch to the head. Oh, what an offering up over the top. This 
fight's gonna be over here soon. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Lands the front kick to the body. Now nice work on the feet by Lee. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt. He got him swollen a little bit. Hurt him bad. Oh! Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Lee's really making things difficult for the opposition right now, continuing to target that damaged nose, and that last strike absolutely found the target. Nice punch lands over the top. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Big shots landed by him now. He's got to be careful here. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Machado Gary. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. There it is. Now he's on the mountain. I can see the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. What a beautiful jab landing there. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finisher? Oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Machado Gary's limping heavily now. May want to raise a knee and try to check one of those kicks. I'm just not sure that his leg is going to hold up much longer as this fight continues. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. But he's got to do something different if he has any designs of winning this fight. Ian Machado Gary's cut right on the bridge of his nose does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it, and you got to think the ringside position will too. Referee might call him in here in short order. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. Under a minute now to go on the fight. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Fractured rib, but the body strikes have been the narrative in this one, and it feels like we're getting close to a stop. We're getting very close. I mean, I, I can't imagine he'd be able to take many more. We may be one body shot away from this guy. Oh, no! Back to the feet now. Oh! oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, 
After five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the future! All right, so how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet. There he is, the now undisputed.